Recent leak shows a BTB 2.0, a possibility within Halo Infinite. Now, this sounds brand new, but actually Bungie played around with a similar idea during Reach's development. So could 343 bring in that concept into reality for Halo Infinite? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to the Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. You want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo? Tap subscribe, keep yourself updated with everything going on with the franchise. So let's get right into it. So this recent leaked information from a known credible leaker source, Clobro, said this on Twitter, referring to a battle royale in Halo Infinite, but he does say here saying, to my limited knowledge, instead the team is creating a big team battle 2.0 mode, which is better fit for Halo, including massively enhanced vehicular combat, squad spawning, incoming pelican drops, and many more surprises. Now I did make a video just talking about this topic strictly by itself, just right off the bat. If you guys wanna check out that video, it's on this channel right now if you wanna check it out. But in this video, I wanna talk about how 343 might be actually resurrecting a fallen idea during Reach's development time when Bungie was creating some new game modes and new mechanics for the next Halo game. Back in 2010, Bungie did have a, a panel at PAX just kinda of showcasing some early concept stuff that they were playing around with. Like this is early early, early, like first year development. Not even the full team at Bungie was working on Halo Reach at this time, but they showcased things like, you know, riding different kind of enemies, watercrafts. Uh, they showed space battles, which actually did make it into the game, which is kind of interesting. And they did show this of global battle. And with Halo Reach being a clear influence on Halo Infinite down to the armor style design, the weapons that we've seen in the game, as well as customization, I think that we're going to be seeing a lot of Reach influences into Halo Infinite. So why wouldn't 343 pull out the bag of tricks that Bungie might have left behind and elaborate on them, try to see if they can bring them to fruition? Now, I know a lot of people's first reaction when they hear Big Team Battle 2.0, they probably just think Big Team Battle, but just bigger. I don't necessarily think that's correct. You know, BTB 2.0, the 2.0 kind of implies an evolution of the Halo BTB mode and not just a straightforward BTB. But what would that next evolution be? Well, possibly Global Battle that was cut content from Halo Reach, but not even necessarily cut content. It's just a game mode they really couldn't pull off on the 360 days because of the limited hardware. As you can see in this early, early development gameplay here that it definitely seemed like a large scale kind of mode, possibly human versus covenant kind of mode, but it seemed maybe it might have been more AI versus uh, players rather than being player versus player. As all the enemies that you're fighting within this very early gameplay is all just Covenant and does seem to be controlled by the AI. But you kind of get the idea of and the scale that they're looking to accomplish. Now if 343 was to bring this mode into Halo Infinite, I think you'd probably have to do a PvP kind of mode. This could be the big mode that 343 is looking to put together because we haven't really received that big game seller mode yet from multiplayer uh every game since halo reach has had their big seller of a game mode you now like we said halo reach had invasion halo 4 had improved btb with new modes in there as well as sporting ops uh halo 5 also had warzone was like a big scale mode and i don't expect warzone to be coming back due to call of duty having that same name and kind of taking that over but what would a btb 2.0 look like well they did mention a few specifics here for this from that leak from clobril staying one thing is about squad spawning this implies that the map would be so large that spawning on one side of the map would just be an overwhelming task just to get to the other side like btb as we know it right now yes the maps are rather large but honestly going from one side to the other isn't really that big of a task to me, this would imply that this is going to be at least a 30 player, 60 player, 100 player count possibly. I mean, we see it right now with some of the battle royales reaching 100 players, uh, Warzone from Call of Duty reaching 150 players. I mean, we obviously know the Battlefield franchise with does have squads and squad spawning has always been 64 player count. I feel like that would be the minimum size you would need to really justify squad spawning. In the tweet, he also mentions about massively enhanced vehicular combat. So this would imply larger scale and possibly better interaction with vehicles as well. 
kind of reworking the idea of how large scale modes play with vehicles. I mean, we saw a tire beam blown on the Warhog during the gameplay reveal for Halo Infinite, so maybe we have some new interactions we can do with vehicles as players, and maybe vice versa as well. I mean, the statement itself is rather vague, so there's really not a whole lot I can dive into really on that's just saying that it's enhanced vehicular combat, but there's multiple ways 343 can go about enhancing the vehicular combat, you know? He also mentions Pelican drops. Now, I think this might be the BTB 2.0 way to maybe possibly do some kind of wreck system or some kind of level up system within the game mode itself. I mean, like Warzone was a rather popular mode. It was always like top five most played modes in Halo 5, and a lot of people enjoyed it, myself included. I thought it was a really fun mode. Definitely need some improvements, but overall it was a solid mode to play. But could these Pelican drops be some way to maybe level up your character within game with like better weapons or shielding or armored pieces or something? Maybe call in like troops to come by and support you. That'd be kind of interesting. But what if we went into the deep end here, really kind of thought about what 343 could do with a larger scaled evolved big team battle mode. Now this next section is more of my thoughts and what I would like to see, but we can utilize other game systems that we've seen from other games and possibly bring them into Halo. I mean, we've even seen some concept art created by fans as well. So let's jump right into this. Putting on my developer hat, I think what would be a reason why to play this mode over saying just like BTB? I think you'd have to make some unique game mechanics to it to really make it stand out, to make it feel like its own game mode rather than just like Team Slayer, but upscaled kind of thing. I think one thing you can do about that is by adding classes into Halo. One franchise I think does this really well is, well, the Battlefield franchise, where they have four different classes. They have the support class, which is kind of like the LMG class that's meant to kind of supply more ammo for your players within the games. Uh, that might definitely will be needed for a large scale mode like BTB 2.0, like they're talking about. We have the engineer class, which is more kind of like an anti vehicle SMG focus kind of class as well. You have the recon class, which obviously is meant to, you know, survey the area, play with sniper rifles, uh, identify people within the map itself. And then you have the assault class, which is kind of like your soldier class using like assault rifles. He's also a medic that's meant to heal players as well. Community member Pixel Flare actually threw together some concepts of just for fun of like what a class based Halo game would look like. You have the Brutes right here, which would be kind of much more like a leader of some sorts. I was utilizing like Brute Berserk, which would be kind of like an invulnerability kind of situation. High health, you know, high damage, but kind of slow on the shields and kind of stuff like that. Where you have like the elites, which are much more stealthy and very more agile, but kind of equivalent to say like a Spartan as well. And then you also maybe go on to the next one. We have a Jackal. We have the options to snipe or use a Jackal shield in a way, kind of weaker on the weapon side, I think, unless you have a sniper rifle, but also just kind of like a front ish kind of position right there. You have also the Promethean Knights, which would come in as well, have their own abilities like Promethean Vision, a Watcher Drone, like also teleportation could be an ability that they could have. You can also look at the ODSTs, obviously having the visor mode would be cool, biofoam to heal up quickly, and just Oni Intel, they mentioned in here, just for fun, pointing out different points of interest to the rest of the team kind of thing, maybe kind of a bit of a reconnaissance kind of thing. And obviously you have a Spartan, which is like ultimate dexterity. You get a motion tracker, energy shields, things like that. Like obviously like think of being a Spartan, you'd be a badass. Now one way you can possibly upgrade your character in some way, maybe doing like the Battlefront 2 style system where basically you earn points within the game, and that makes you so you can level up your character maybe earn in say like a hero character in some way or another like you could call in master chief or something i don't know and play as him for a bit until you die for one life or something like that just kind of mix up the gameplay make it more interesting so if you're playing like this long style mode this is probably going to last about 20 minutes or so and i would assume for a large scale mode you need to have some sort of progression being played throughout the game to make it so that it's interesting to play throughout the entire time and that just one just high level action the entire time because that'd just be kind of boring to be honest. I think it'd be super cool if it's like a player versus player, UNSC versus UNSC kind of thing, add in AI to the mode just so then you can earn these rank up points faster, just like kind of like we did with Warzone, but maybe more dynamic or a little bit more challenging, less bullet spongy, and just a little bit more fun to interact with. You know, rather than having these designated locations of where the bosses fight, they never really move anywhere, have it be more dynamic. They move out throughout the map, you know, that's how people kind of fight, at least I would assume in these kind of large scale modes that they wouldn't just stay in a corner the entire time they would be interactive with the battle so something like that i would find super interesting and really dynamic and fun to play and it'd give me a reason why to jump into that mode rather than just having like 
and upscaled Team Slayer like we've had previously with BTB. But let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on an evolved BTB 2.0? Do you think it'd be great for Halo? Are you looking forward to something like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out all my news and informational videos right here if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.